Welcome back everybody. How are you? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this top. If you are new here, make sure that you subscribe, leave me a comment, say hello so I can say hello back. This is my first tutorial video, so hopefully it goes well. I would like to make more, so if you guys like it, let me know. I'm going to go get changed, and then we can get started, and I'll show you what you need to make this cute boho style type summer crochet tank top. So what you need to get started is a 100% cotton yarn. I recommend using the peaches and cream. I got this from Walmart for $1.97, I think. I'll link some down below, but like I said, got it at Walmart for super cheap. You're going to want a cotton yarn because you want it to be clothing material, not like blanket material. Then you're also going to need your crochet hooks Just out here. You're going to want a 3mm hook and a 5mm hook, and then you also want a pair of scissors. That's it, and we can just go ahead and get started. So to get started, we're going to be making the bra portion of the top, which we're going to be making two triangles like this. I just made this first one, so this is what we're going to be making right now. You need to know how to slip knot, slip stitch, chain up, single crochet, and double crochet in order to make this top. It is very beginner friendly. Let's go ahead and get into it. So first you're going to make a slip stitch and grab the three millimeter hook, the little hook for this part, and then we use the bigger hook for the rest of the top. I'm going to chain up seven, seven, and then you're going to chain one more making eight in order to turn and get started and single crochet into the first stitch and every stitch after that. Once you get to the bottom here, I did this one a little too tight. Once you get to the bottom here, you're going to chain one and then turn it back the other way. You're going to skip this first stitch right here, this lighting. You're going to skip this first stitch right here and go into the second stitch. So you're not going back into the stitch you just came out of, you're going into the second stitch from your hook. And go back up. Once you get to the top stitch, you are not going to turn back around. We need to make a triangle shape. So you're going to do three stitches into the very top stitch. So I've already done one, so I need to do two more. And then you just continue to go back down the other side. Now I'm back down to the bottom. So I'm going to chain one and turn back the other way back up towards the top. Make sure you're doing a tight stitch so you cannot see through this when it is on you. Everyone's sizing is going to be a little bit different, so I'm doing, I think I do 15, 16 rows, and I told up myself to measure. So I'm back at the top, so I'm going to do my three single crochets in the one top stitch and go back down the side and you're just going to keep repeating the process down turn up three down turn up three back and forth until you get to the size that you want so once you have your two matching triangle pieces we're going to connect the two so I like to line them up like this Double check, make sure that they are the same size, and indeed they are. And then have my hook through my second one here. And this is where I ended my first one. I'm going to take my hook. And we're just going to connect the two together here with a slip stitch. Pull through once here. And there you have it. You are now connected. Then we're going to continue to slip stitch across the bottom of this 
triangle piece here. So now that we're to the end of this one, we are going to chain one, turn, and then we are going to single crochet all the way across this first one and then also to go back across the second one that has not been touched yet. So slip stitch across the first one to get to the end so you can have an even place to start and then single crochet against, sorry, single crochet across both. When you get to the middle, I just wanted to say just double check to make sure that you're not twisted or anything weird because once you put this single crochet through, that is how your top is going to be set and you just want to make sure that it's exactly how you want it. So just double check, make sure that it's right and then you can continue your single crochets across the top. So once you have done your single crochet across the bottom of your cup, we are now going to create the part that is going to go around the, I guess be like the bust area right here. So it's going to be different for everybody. You are going to just chain however many it takes for it to fit you pretty snug and connect right there. Make sure that it's pretty fitted when you do this part. So to check, I literally just take this and putting it around my back, pulling this up, and then seeing if they connect. And they do, but it's like way too snug, like I'm going to rip this shirt. So I'm going to add three more chains. Alright. Double check. And sure enough, we can connect it. So to connect, it is just going to be a slip stitch. Make sure that when you connect your chain, it's not twisted, it's straight. The whole top is on the top and the bottom is the bottom. And then you are just going to put it through right at the very bottom corner of the other cup, I guess you would call it. And you're just going to do a slip stitch to pull through. Like that. So now we, sounds crazy, but we basically have the top. All we need to do is go around and around and around till it is the length that you want. I do three rows single crochet, one row double crochet, seven rows single crochet, one row double crochet, one row single crochet. I got tongue tied, I'll put the list right here that I did for the other top that I made and I'm going to repeat that here. And then I will come back and we can add the tassel. So I'm actually gonna go sit on my couch. One other thing, um, you can use a, a stitch marker um, or you can use another piece of yarn with a different color and stick it in here. But um, just keep track, you know where your rows are at, like, you know that your row is going to end on your right side, right below that cup. If you're counting your rows, it really doesn't matter, uh, but we're not going to be doing a slip stitch after every time you go around. You're just going to keep going around, keep going around. If you slip stitch, you're going to have a seam. There's no need to slip stitch at the end of each round, just you can know where your rounds are, and then when you're ready to be done, you know that you're going to end on that side. So I'm going to go do that and then I'll come back and I will just show you real quick how we connect these little frillies and then we'll be done and we can wear our top. This is also the time that I switch to the bigger crochet hook. Alright, so I'm on my last row. Um, I just want to show you, so since we did not connect every single row, there is going to be a little bit of a lip here. So what you're going to do is when you come across the very end, you're going to do two to three slip stitches to make it an even line right there. And you do the same thing when you make winter hats is how I do those. I do those all up like around and then I do the slip stitch at the end. So I'm going to do three and then you just do a chain and pull and then you can cut, pull this out and tighten this down and that'll make your knot. So here's our top so far. This is what we have so far. I'm loving it. Next, I'm going to put the straps on, and then we're just going to add the little frillies at the bottom. So for the straps, so then you're just going to go ahead and pull this through. And then you can start chaining, and that's all secure down there. So I'm going to do a chain of 
I think I'll do a chain of 45. So there's two. All right, so that's 45. I think I'm actually gonna do more like 60 because you wanna make sure you have enough room to tie in for there to be extra. So we're gonna do 60 actually. It's up to you guys since I like longer strings. So it's, that's just completely up to you, completely personalized however you wanna do it. All right, and then once I'm at my 60, I'm going to chain one in turn and then we are going to single crochet down the strap to make it a little bit thicker so when you tie it, it doesn't get stuck to the other tie, you know, like in a knot. So we're gonna go ahead and just single crochet down this strap. Just getting to the end here. So to finish this now, I'm just gonna go straight back into the same stitch that I came through to start the strap. So stitch through that to finish and then do a chain up and then pull up and we can clip it. And there we have it. And just for a little bit of extra security, I am going to pull this loose string, which is not loose, like it's not going anywhere. But I'm going to pull it back here and tie the two in a knot together for a little bit of extra security. And then I'm going to clip those short. Be careful if you're going to clip off um, your ends too. You should. You can always sew them in, which is probably what you should do. But I'm just. I'm just clipping them off for this sake. Uh, the other loose ends I actually crocheted over. Uh, if you guys are interested, I'll bring it up to my face. If you guys are interested, I can show you how to crochet over something in a separate video. It's not that hard. It's kind of self-explanatory. So that way you don't have to sew an end at the end of your project. I'm going to go put this other stripe on and then just show you how to finish the little, what do we want to call it, frilly things on the bottom. Once your straps are on, we're in the home stretch now. These tops are a lot of work, don't let anybody fool you. You're going to want to cut a bunch of strings. This part's up to you on if you want to do this or not. But I like the, the frillies on the bottom. So do whatever length you want, but I you're going to be folding them in half, so keep that in mind. So I did mine about 8 inches, so I can fold them and have a 4 inch little hanger thing. So cut your first one how you want it, and then you just measure out the rest with that first one. All right, so I'm going to take one here. doesn't really matter where you start. So you're going to fold your string in half. And if you're having trouble like I am with like these tighter stitches, grab your crochet hook. And you can grab it like this. <coughs> and I just spin and pull it through. So there you go. Your end is through, so you don't need this anymore. So now you have a loop. Take your two ends and pull it through your loop and pull it tight. And there you go. You have your first, your little frilly is on there. Now you're just going to do that until you fill up all of the bottom. Done. I am gonna go put it on and we can do final thoughts. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Ignore the mess of the sink room, but I'm super, super happy with this. Um, it takes a while to make, but well worth it. And I like how it's a crop top, but with these pants, I still have like full coverage. This is the top. Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you made it, if you succeeded. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. I'll do my best to answer your questions. I might have this top for sale. I'll link my crochet page down below, so that way if I do post it for sale, you guys can check it out and buy it. If I did not post it for sale, you can see my other stuff. Um, I have dream cutters for sale right now. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I will see you next week. Bye!